Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. So in this video tutorial, we will move the fish or you can say we will uh, write a code to fly the fish up in the air. So for that, uh, come here above and here we have this private bitmap fish. So here we can say private bitmap fish equals to new bit and put a semicolon here and come down here and we have this fish which we cost in the previous video tutorial so here we can say fish 0 equals to bitmap factory dot code resource get resources and fish 1 and copy this line of code and paste it down here and now the second fish is inside our uh, drivable folder by the name fish2 you can see that okay with open wings and with closed wings so you can see that and if I show you the drivable folder and let me tell you that I already provide a link to these icons in the previous video tutorial so if you have not watched the previous video tutorial then please go and watch this tutorial first and download these icons okay you can see that now we have to uh, change this uh, canvas dot draw bitmap fish and uh, I mean the fish position. But before we move to that, first let initialized here. Uh, we need private int fish x equals to which means x x is ten private int fish y which means the y-axis and we will leave it like that and let's call this as uh, fish speed and we need uh, here the canvas so we can say privacy and canvas height let's call this as canvas width and then we need uh, canvas so put a comma and we can say canvas canvas height so come here to the on draw method and inside this on draw method here we can say canvas width equals to canvas dot get width and for the height we can say canvas height equals to canvas dot get height and now when uh, the user click on the screen or you can set up on screen then the fish should fly so for that uh, remove this canvas dot drop bitmap and you can see that okay phase zero zero and I'll remove this one and now we need to uh, write code for that so what we're gonna do here we can say we can initialize our in type variable and let's call this as minimum fish y equals to fish zero dot get height fish y equals canvas height minus fish zero dot get height three times you will multiply it so you can say uh, you can write this multiply sign the multiplication sign and three fish y equals to fish y plus fish speed so here we are incrementing then we can say if fish y less than min fish y then inside this is statement fish y equals to min fish y and copy this if statement and paste it down below and here we can change this less than sign to greater than and change this to max fish y and fish y equals to max fish y now we need a boolean type variable which will basically check the tap on screen or you can save when a user press a finger on 
mobile screen or you can say tap on screen then the fish will fly up in the air so for that what we're gonna do here come here above and here we can say private boolean and let's call this as touch and it will be equals to false and now scroll down and here we can say after this if statement if touch so if a user touch on screen or you can say tap on screen then there is a method uh, which we are going to create which is the on touch event which is this one on touch event so on touch event okay inside this method remove this uh, return dot super dot on touch event and here we can say if event dot get action becomes equals to motion event dot action down which is this one then inside this if statement we can say the touch will be equals to true and the fish speed equals to minus 22 and this method will return true so now here uh, we here inside this if touch canvas dot draw bitmap fish one comma fish x comma fish y comma null touch equals to false and then in the else statement we can say canvas dot draw bitmap fish zero fish x comma fish y comma null and we have the fish from the y axis and then here we can say here when we say if fish y greater than max fish y here we can say fish speed equals to fish speed plus 2 now what will be the first position of our fish when the app starts so for that come here to this flying fish view and inside that uh, after this we can say fish y equals to 550 now go to the main activity and here on our main activity here we can create a handle so we can say private handler let's call this as handler equals to new handler and here we need to create interval of time so we can say private final static long and let's call this as interval equals to 30 and then here in our on create method we can say timer timer equals to new timer time dot timer dot schedule or you can say schedule schedule new timer task and alongside with that this run method is created and now here inside this run method we can say handler dot post new runnable is this one and this other run method is created and make sure to put a semicolon here and now inside this uh, second run method we can say game view dot invalidate and now here you can see this uh, semicolon okay which is over this timer dot schedule ending okay you can see that and now here we can say com zero comma interval which is our let me show you which is our this one okay so it is from capital i we initialize it so pass that interval here so yeah that's it now let's run the app to see if it is working or not
so our app is launched successfully and now let's check it so you can see that the height is from 600 and now if I tap on screen you can see that the, f the, flesh and the fish is flying up in the air and you can see that it move or you can say flap his wings or her wings whatever you call it so you can see that it flap his wings and also it is moving up in the air so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and in the next video we will work on the score and we will create danger balls which will destroy the health of this fish and also we will create some uh, health balls by by which when the fish eat that then the score of the fish will increase see you guys in the next video bye for now